Hi Taurus, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 30th of March till the 6th of April 2020. I'm using the Enchanted uh, Dream Tarot and um, I'm also using an Angel Feather and Archangel Michael. Also the bottom of the deck um, to um, what you call it uh, to clarify okay um, if you are a new uh, viewer then welcome to the channel and I hope you enjoy watching the videos and also the reviews interviews updates and the series of the witch as well I go live twice a week Monday and Friday is English nights and on Wednesday is the Dutch night as this is a bilingual channel um, so you're more than welcome uh, to join, me, uh, join us on Wednesday if you speak Dutch okay if you like to get an extended reading then please uh, look underneath the video in the description box and there you can find all the information also you can find the information on the website and you can see different readings on and that are on offer just click on this little white dot please subscribe and hit the bell then you'll be notified when new videos are uploaded there's a lot of new things happening and it's great it's all exciting and I hope you enjoy them just as much as I've enjoyed making them and welcome to my cyber angels and thank you very much for your support and for your sharing and liking I do appreciate it very much it's really awesome so let's get started Taurus remember when I go live there's also super chats available and when I do a super chat or a super sticker then you get three cards and an oracle card to answer your specific questions so let's get started your first card um, uh, Taurus is the seven of cups and that for me means dreams wishes goals they can happen but you must make a priority list because if you uh, make your priority list your pros and cons then you can take a choice of which dream or wish or goal will come out first perhaps it's love perhaps it's work perhaps it's a home perhaps it's children who knows and this will motivate you to take on the next wish or the next goal so let your dreams come true by taking action then you have the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles is Mother Earth and she also represents the um, growth, fertility, birth of a child, birth of a project, also growth and blossoming and harvesting. This could also be a Virgo, this could be a Capricorn, this could be a Taurus. She also represents the Hermit and the Hermit represents Virgo. So that is the prominent uh, uh, figure the hermit and Virgo but don't exclude any other uh, earthly element people like Capricorn and Taurus so what does this mean like I said take action make your priority list so make a visionary board once you've decided which dream you would like to come true or goal or uh, wish then uh, like the uh, the Queen of Pentacles Mother Earth um, you have put it into motion now you've planted the seeds but it will take time before it will can blossom and harvest you might find out you're pregnant you might find out uh, that somebody else is giving birth so if you are a mature lady then you might be becoming a grandmother 
for the middle of the week we have the two of cups and that means that you might be Im emotionally imbalanced or you might be highly sensitive and also very psychic or intuitive you might actually meet also your soulmate this could be in love or this could be uh, in business it could be that you are meeting a person that is more or less the same as you that understands things like you do and you don't have to finish each other's sentences because you feel the same as water is emotions then you have the eight of pentacles the eight of pentacles means you have recognition perhaps from a soulmate like I said and they will become uh, or are your best friend for life you might uh, start a new study but you definitely have recognition for your hard work on Friday Taurus you have the fool and the fool means that it advises you take that leap of faith that leap of faith means a new beginning you might not know everything you might take that leap of faith to start this new study you might take that leap of faith because you might get a promotion because of your recognition so don't worry okay and what have you got underneath it you've put your dreams into action and like I said it takes time to grow before it can blossom well you've got the star and the star means that your dream or your wish is coming true boom like a blast in the sky and it just looks like the star is a blast in the sky it's beautiful something will explode into being on Friday perhaps this new beginning okay so it's confirming that the new beginning is there you've been through tough times and you've got the nine of wands the end is here okay it's saying that you've come, come full circle that there is an ending because nine is an ending and it's been pretty heavy don't give up now it is a transformational period I know we are living in difficult times so take your rest before you can actually start this new study or new job it will bring in money because you've got the ace of pentacles so that is for durability and long term whatever you are wishing for whether it's a relationship or whether it's a job or whether it's a business it's going to start off this week and like I said it could be with a Virgo or any other earthly sign Capricorn or Taurus and it will be a relationship steady and slowly and steady but it will last for a very long long time and like I said it might be a best friend for life uh, sorry best friend for life the two of cups awesome and the overall energy is the Queen of Swords the Queen of Swords is somebody that can speak clearly is straight and honest <coughs> serious but also funny she's got a sense of humor and she's quirky and she's quite independent okay now what I have to say with this is also she stands for justice she'll cut straight through to the core she doesn't like BS she doesn't tolerate fools lightly okay so uh, you might be meeting an air sign and the Queen of Swords is also the star and the star I forgot is Aquarius and other air sign so this doesn't have to be a Gemini or um, a Libra as the Queen of Swords is Aquarius so there might be a predominant figure Aquarius 
you might have the energy the overall energy of getting wisdom like the queen knowledge learning um, she's always eager to learn as she stands for wisdom communication um, and also justice and honesty and clarity okay <clears throat> Um, I'm getting an extra message here as well. The, like I said, emotions might run high, but it is in a positive sense. Uh, talk to each other, even if you know what the other is thinking, and that is your link to them. Okay, it could be um, we've got an, an uh, uh, it could be a Virgo. It could be an earth sign or uh, an air sign because those are the two character cards in this deck if you think ah oh, no uh, this is the air signs are too quick for me too uh, exciting too unpredictable because they are swift okay take your time let them know what your boundaries are and find out what their boundaries are uh, because you're Taurus, uh, uh, Taurus you are steady and slow you do everything in your own tempo okay you've learned that and it's good because you know it takes time to grow before you can harvest so you've planted the seeds and something is coming to fruition boom and it's going to be long long standing and with durability and for long term you've been through the hard times so you know what not to do now you do but if you are with an air sign make sure that you can handle their energy keep the communication going that is the lesson uh, in the in general for the all over week you are building something really beautiful now in every reading I have a, uh, oh yeah sorry I forgot this I've taken a card and I, uh, I've taken a card and gone into it extensively perhaps you might like to do a, a, a task this week and I'm going to give you a, just a, a question food for thought and I'm going to take the Queen of Swords okay the Queen of Swords uh, a lot of people think that she's a widow a lot of readers say she's a widow uh, a lot of readers think she she's cold she's also called the ice queen because look it just all that silver or metal just looks like white like ice but she, deep down she, she's not a person that will show the back of her tongue okay she will she plays her cards close to her chest although she is swift and forthright and quick she does think things through sometimes too much like uh, uh, a Libra they are they are known to uh, think things over too much and that's procrastination that's their negative thing and the Gemini is too swift and uh, Aquarius okay now the key words for the Queen of Swords is honest astute witty experience forthright calm swift action decisiveness perceptive independent shrewd I independent integrity organizer you here we go again a divorced woman but not the widow thank goodness that this author has said a divorced woman not every uh, Queen of Wands is a divorced woman she is sophisticated though chatty self-disciplined candid self-reliant discerning mm, sometimes and a mediator now the question for you this week is will do you stand up for what you believe in no matter what others expect of you can you say no the task is this week say no to something you really do not want to do 
but usually do to please others. So learn to do something for yourself that you enjoy and learn to say no. So I hope you've enjoyed this reading so far and we're going on to the angel feather. Now, uh, the angel feather is fawn. Diff difficulties resolved. The angels are present to inform you that particularly difficult period in your life is coming to an end. And look at this. You've got the nine of wands. And there's a lot of fawn color in here. It's an autumn color as well. You can wear it, you can eat it. Well, nuts are fawny color. So you can eat nuts and it will also give you protein. It will help you to relax and it will help you to detox as well. Then the Archangel Michael card. You've got the golden card of protection. It's the protection card. Protection of self. Strong shoes. So stand strong in your shoes. And don't let everybody tell you what you should do and shouldn't do. Say no. Like be the queen of swords. Cut straight through to the core. And cut away the BS. Okay. Be strong. Be precise. Be direct. But with dignity and proper intonation. Archangel Michael has a gift for you. A new pair of shoes. Visualize wearing them when you require extra strength, courage and protection. It takes courage to say no. That's the shortest sentence in the dictionary. And word. Uh, besides I and that just came in, I don't know why. So think of yourself. Okay, think of yourself. Think of your own beauty. Think of your wisdom. Use your mind. Okay? Be shrewd. Be perceptive. So that you can all be organized and astute. Okay. So I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Um Taurus and I hope you your wish will come true remember it could be on Friday but it could also be earlier in the week or at the weekend and you will get clarity so learn to say no and see what you can do and what the changes are stand up for yourself okay and believe in what you do no matter what anybody else says just stay be clear show your boundaries draw a line in the sand metaphorically speaking if you do that then um, you've already visualized it or manifested to the angels and the universe don't know your boundaries and let others know your boundaries take care and stay strong and be blessed see you in the life ciao ciao